What's up home bartenders? You know when I think of fall cocktails I immediately go to whiskey and apple brandy. However there are some amazing rum cocktails that capture that perfect fall vibe. Let's do it! First one here is called the Tango Nuevo. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of blended aged rum. I'm using Havana Club Cuban Smoky. You'll see why at the end. Follow that up with some homemade coffee liqueur. Obviously use the coffee liqueur of your choice or check out my recipe, half an ounce. And then after that, we need half an ounce of honey syrup that is three to one honey to water in that one there. Okay, give it some ice, stir, stir, stir until things are chilled and properly diluted. We're gonna strain over fresh ice and garnish with a lemon peel and some smoked sea salt. I smoked that myself. The Tango Nuevo. Mm. So, I mean, it is an awesome cocktail. It's rum, it's coffee liqueur. Um, and then sweetened with honey. That salt smells amazing. Oh, the smoke. I smoked this myself with apple wood and oh, you get this amazing campfire smell coming off of it on the cocktail. Y yeah, when it's freshly sprinkled on, you get it. This has been sitting out a, bit, a little bit since I was filming the other drinks, but um, so I'm not picking up as much. And it's not salty but it does make the flavors pop, just like you would with saline solution. Um, this is good, I just, I don't know, maybe a, doing a salt rim like a margarita would work better. However, if you're after that smoke element, what I would do is just go right to the source <laughs> and just add maybe a little touch of an Isla Scotch. Oh yeah, see now I got that smoke. And it's not altering the flavor much, but I do get that smoke. So while I do like the smoked salt, I would either do a rim like a margarita so you can actually get more of it or go right to the smoke source and add a little bit of Isla Scotch on top. But otherwise, great cocktail. Next one is the fake ID. We want to start with two ounces of a black rum using Myers here, but whatever the darkest rum you own, use that one. After that, we want three quarter ounce of Chinar. You probably could sub with another Amaro, but if you got Chinar, use Chinar. All right, and then we want just a bar spoon of cinnamon syrup. That's homemade cinnamon syrup, of course. Give it some ice. This is another stirred cocktail, so stir, 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 and serve up and garnish with an orange peel. The fake ID. Oh my God, that's really nice. That really rich rum, and then all those botanicals from the Chinar. It could be a little sweeter, maybe two bar spoons of cinnamon syrup. You don't want it too sweet, because then it would kind of take away from the type of drink that it is, and this is on more on the bitter side. Um, but this is a really nice sipper. Oh yeah, that's nice. I would just go two bar spoons of cinnamon. Last one here, across the Pacific, a nice fall tiki inspired drink, starting with an ounce of a blended aged rum using Bacardi. We then want a Jamaican pot still rum. You know I'm using Smith & Cross. Follow that up with some Amaro Averna. All right, here you could probably sub with a couple other Amaros, but uh, use Averna if you got it. We need some Orgeat. I didn't have any Orgeat left, but I've got this Pecan Orgeat from Savage Kitchen, so I'm gonna use that. Finally, we want some lime juice, three quarter ounce, and a couple dashes of Tiki Bitters. Now, I totally forgot that this was a crushed ice drink, so I just shook with some regular ice and then served it over crushed ice, but obviously you could shake directly with your crushed ice, however you want, garnish away, and there it is. Fall tiki, love it. Hmm. Very much, very tiki inspired. You do get those nice fall flavors in there. The Amaro gives it some nice herbaceous notes and some spice. The Smith & Cross, of course, stands out. I don't know, I think I could use a little more kind of fall spice in this. Give this, a, give this a little dash, like a quarter ounce or even a bar spoon of allspice dram, and this would be superb. All right, let's rate. First play is gonna give it to the fake ID. Um, just really like that combo of the dark rum with the chinar, and a little hint of cinnamon. Could have used a bit more, but 
still very good. Second place, gonna give it to the Tango Nuevo. Great combo of flavors. Uh, like I said, just that addition of a, either a salt rim or adding a little bit of Isla Scotch would just ramp this up, but still a very nice sipping cocktail for the fall. And in last place, gonna give it to the Across the Pacific. Um, it's got all those tiki vibes. I think it's just missing a little kind of flavor punch, which I think some allspice dram would really um, help out with. Do you have a favorite rum cocktail for the fall? If so, leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, check out all these fall cocktails and click on this video if you want to see more smoky fall cocktails. We've got quite a few of those. Love my Isle of Scotch. In which case, we will see you in the next one. Cheers.